it smells so good in my car right now. So I just purchased seven hydrangeas for the property. I also found out about an hour and a half, two hours ago, I need to have spinal fusion surgery in my neck. So everything is a little more urgent and we're gonna get these babies in the ground within 24 hours. And uh, come spring and next summer, it's gonna be glorious and they smell so good. It's that time again. And we're gonna paint the ceiling of that room the same as the wall. Say hello to my new friend, Mr. Oxygen Concentrator. The doctor has made it clear that she wants me to breathe oxygen more often. Saturday was one of the final yard days of the season. One of the big tasks was to remove this branch that had fallen during the winds from Hurricane Helene. And Aaron did a lot of yard work and a lot of the heavy lifting. So thanks, babe. All right, so we have this beautiful limelight hydrangea and I'm gonna put it in the middle of the, of the iris. And then these are the panicles. I'm gonna remove the purple and put, this is a bobo hydrangea, another bobo, those will be moved. So this will be my wall of hydrangeas in the south side of the house. They'll be big and poofy and floofy. We got another bobo, another panicle. One of the everyday joys is to see how the flora and fauna change around the pond as the season shift and uh, it's wonderful to take a coffee break. Now, for those of you who have asked, this is essentially the completed compost bin. Aaron did a great job and he is working on the cut list and so we will be sending out a link for that PDF that will be free to download. And uh, super excited, he ended up putting siding on the top as a roof and we went and got handles. He has a little bit more work to do, so stay tuned and thanks for your support. Saturday, sometime in October, 12th maybe, and transplanting here. So we're gonna have hydrangeas put in. I'm gonna move the lilies to the lily mound for the summer. And then we're cleaning up the grasses because we're gonna transplant some of those either today or next weekend. I'll put the bulbs in the ground because it's so warm right now. So we've got daffodils, my favorite, and some tulips, some different tulips. So a bag of 40 daffodils. Eventually I want to get a bunch of different kinds of daffodils and mix them together, but I got to start slow, especially since I'll be having neck surgery soon. And I also got orange tulips. So I love this orange combo against the blue house. So we have three different kinds of tulips. Yay! Those will bloom first. Tulips will be right after. The four wheeler has come in so handy. And as you can see here, one of the things that it does 
is remove plants very quickly, which is so much easier on one's arms, back, etc. So we had a several to remove this day. We're going to have daffodils, tulips, and then we'll have a purple perennial, and then the grasses. Should I have been wearing eyewear? Yes, I didn't. I was in the zone. So this is a lovely tree, but it's a cherry tree and they weep. I've had one before. They're uh, messy and they get gnarly quickly. So we have decided to remove it in its entirety, but that will happen next year. So I just wanted to get some of the ones out of the way that would continually hit our head when we walk underneath it. dirt is Indiana dirt, which means it's got a lot of clay in it here in central Indiana. Now these beds have been used for quite some time and they have a thick layer of mulch, but little by little we'll get them amended and super happy with the way that these hydrangeas look on the north porch of the house and they will bring a nice light scent. A little contraption here. This was on it, wasn't it? Yeah, so this was made by the previous owner. Uh, there was a couple of holes here. He had a uh, like a enclosure that he kind of rigged together. It was all right, but this is also helpful. probably going to change. Yeah, because it's already split in a couple of spots. Um, I mean, it's a good it's a good prototype. Yeah, I, it's I worked can today. Elaborate on it. Oh yeah, I'm look forward to that. And then we have this guy, he's just the cutest. He's done a great job today while our, with our yard work. Yes, the four wheeler and the cart have definitely paid for the Oh my gosh. And we're just getting used to it, just started. Much more clean. Empty beds, pretty much. This has now been cleared off. We've taken the low branches down. This will come down eventually. All of those shrubs are gone. So now we have a clean slate. This will be painted gray. Over here, pretty clean. We will transplant these two grasses on the side that are different. Those will go over there. 
This will allow the zebra grass to be large. Transplanted, this is a perennial, I can't remember the name, but we'll put some tulips and daffodils. Then this grass is gonna stay. We're gonna transplant some of that over there. There's the other perennial. And again, more daffodils and tulips I'll plant next week. So now we have a southern facing wall of hydrangeas and just super excited. This one should get four to six feet tall and four to six feet wide. The rest of these are about their max. These will probably be three feet wide by about three feet tall. So I'll eventually move the iris, probably not till next year. Let this get established. We're gonna define the beds later on. This is gonna be uh, lilies. On the back side of that are lilies and I left them as they are because there's no reason to move all of those right now. So now we have bobos. And these are, this one is a little different hydrangea. I can't remember the name, but this one is a larger, more mature version of this one, which is a little quick fire. So little quick fires and bobos. They're about three feet wide at their max, as you can see, probably like this one. We're gonna keep this here, another bobo, and then down to the limelight, which is the biggest one. Right there. This is gonna end up being a water feature at some point. We don't want anything big blocking the driveway. These right now are Stella door lilies. Eventually I would wanna move them and just let this be beautiful rock. This might also end up being a Japanese maple. That's something Aaron really likes and I support that. So back here, we're gonna keep the wall of hostas and then we'll see what the North porch has to offer. Gonna go on sale, it's a light fixture. And back here we have two more bobos. So these will get probably another foot wide, another foot tall, nice and full. These are north facing, so they may not get as large, but I just think it's a nice balance back here. And they have a lovely light scent. The first of two indoor outdoor rugs arrived to cozy up our lanai and outdoor porch. A larger one that is the same pattern will go under the larger couch, but I love the reference to dahlias and mums. Before family arrived this week, Erin finished painting the rest of the downstairs except the guest bathroom and laundry room. And here again, we painted the ceiling which we really like in this particular shade. And you can see sort of the in progress and all of the patching that my brother did on the walls. So we're excited to move to the upstairs soon. It was a really cozy evening and appreciate Aaron's shoulders enrolling since I'm not able to do it. And uh, it's really cool to paint this evening. It's the final, hey, what's going on? The final countdown for me. For this session. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, uh, I think pretty much besides the laundry room and the spare, the guest bathroom. Guest bathroom, yeah. Everything else has been painted. Everything downstairs has been painted. Uh, by who? Yours truly, because I love this color. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah. Autumn in Indiana is beautiful and we took a day to hike through Clifty Falls State Park and watching the sunrise was worth the early alone.
It's Monday morning. Before I get started on sitting for hours writing some lol, I wanted to at least make some sort of progress because I've put this off for two and a half weeks. Pulled stuff out of the bedroom closet. That's Aaron's. This is going to my car. I have part of my clothing, not all of my clothing, and I just realized I have a bunch of very cute autumn boots that I keep forgetting that I packed away. So let me show you what we got so far. Hi guys, all right, welcome to my closet. So my goal is to get the one, two, three things of clothing, piles and bags from travel onto the shelves. It's not gonna get organized this morning. I'll do that later. 
However, I do want to talk about the difference between a natural cleaner and one that's aerosol. And I use both for different purposes, but for instance, application here. So I'm going to have shoes or linens, sweaters and stuff on these shelves. Right now there's shoes because it fits, but we can do end dust, which leaves a shine and no waxy substance with a lemon scent but it does say contents under pressure, don't inhale it. So I'm not really sure. We've got water, mineral oil, isoparaffin, propane, fragrance, etc. Okay, so I could use this. However, we also have teas, which was left. It's a Young Living Essential Oil Household Cleanser. And this has water, a couple other things in it. It's got clove oil, lemon citrus, lemon peel, cinnamon, rosemary, eucalyptus. And all of those, if I'm not mistaken, are good for um, preventing moths and bugs from your woolens. And so since I have sensitive skin, this smells like Christmas. And I'm going to put this where my clothing is going to be. We'll leave this with a better ventilated area, probably floors and like high shine surfaces like when I clean um, the woodwork, which has a high gloss paint on it. So just a difference there when you're thinking about what you have and where you're using it. Uh, anything that's gonna come into contact with your skin or food, probably wanna be using something like an essential oil. Um, yeah, okay, bye. Gorgeous autumn day, awaiting the arrival of our first overnight house guests, my brother and his lovely wife and my niece. And we're gonna have a bonfire this weekend with family and uh, they're gonna get the full autumn experience. So very excited and uh, grateful. <laughs> 